My name's Aaron. Welcome back to my channel. How are you? I'm fantastic and I'm doing whoa, really whoa, well. Whoa, 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 whoa. What are you doing? Oh, I'm so sorry. Momentary lapse in reason, breaking consciousness. I'm so sorry. Listen, mate, my channel, I do the intros. Many apologies. I should think so too. <laughs> this guy. So, since someone hijacked my intro, Aaron. Oh, I'm so sorry. Don't know what you're thinking. It must be all ego. Uh, so, I need to do the intro right now. Aaron is back, as you can see, um, stealing intros. And today we are gonna rate, well, Aaron is going to rate six of my favorite fragrances. Okay, I love it when he does this because I know that Aaron doesn't hold back if he doesn't like something, even if he knows, even if you know I, I like it, you're no, not afraid to say. Absolutely not. Yeah, and I love it if you, if you don't like the same things as me, I, I love hearing that, you know, it's important to, to, to be honest about that. Very good. And I, and I don't take any offense. At no, all. not at all. Yeah. Right. Okay. Let's get into it. So this is the first fragrance. Aaron doesn't know what these fragrances are. You will be seeing the names of them on the screen and I'll reveal them to him after. So as usual, let's just get some sniffing done. Well, first one. One I can smell off here, which I quite like. Okay. So. Incensey. Woody, sandal woody. This, this sort of stuff is your style of perfumery. Yeah, for Dark. sure. Dark. Uh, older, slightly metallic. So it's like, I'm really into metallic notes at the moment. There is one actually in here that I, I think is quite metallic. So see what you think about that. Seed woody, so this is very, very woody, easy to wear. I imagine on skin the projection is robust of this. It is, yeah. Very Precious. popular, very popular fragrance. This one is, uh, is quite a recent release and has gained a lot of buzz. Uh, herbaceous. Um, a lot of companies are moving in the direction of this herbaceous, dry. And yeah, I know what you mean. It's oh, not. It's not a wet, no. hair heavy fragrance. It does have a dryness uh, to it. Yeah, I know exactly what you mean. It does have a dryness. I'm not sure what's giving it that dryness, but well, the, the dry, the dryness is the must choice, and the the ambroxan sort of that gives a dr dries it out. But there's also further things in there. But there's a herbaceous balsam note in the bottom, and that is giving that real. Um, it further dries it out which is quite nice. Slightly older demographic, I wouldn't say youthful at all, I'd yep. say sort of older professional, uh, nice, just a very nice man's well, very robust, very stable, be a nice wall of projection. Yeah, you like it? Something yes, you'd wear? Like. Yeah. Uh, no, I wouldn't wear I wouldn't wear it, but I think it's very nice. Right. Yeah. Out of 10, this one what would you give that, yeah. As it's drying out, it's going sweeter. Lo Ice was super heavy based to this, which is quite nice. As always, we should say, yes, I know that just doing these off strips is not going to give Aaron the full picture of each of these fragrances. It's the only way we can do it. We I, can't possibly put them all on screen. I think it's, I think it's very nice. Not for me right. at all. So I'll give it like a seven. Seven out of 10. Okay, that's decent. Oh, that's that's fair. Yeah, no, yeah. yeah, I love it. I've worn quite a lot of this yes. fragrance. I'll reveal it after. You like that, that Creed one. Viking, Aventus. Viking. Viking, yeah, so I like sim Viking, yeah. Similar, not, not the notes, but similar sort of constructed. Ah. And you said that the same way that you like Viking for cold winter's days, all of that stuff, that reminds me of that but I wouldn't wear that sort of stuff. Okay, personally. yeah. Actually, this is versatile. A great sort of colder day fragrance, yeah. but you could easily wear it okay. through the year because it's light, light enough yes. and dry enough, I think. Right, uh, on to the next one. The projection of these is really good. Robust, mm. clean uh, projection of it. The must choice in this is um, key. Absolutely key. Because it has a, a sort of like a, a very masculine, woody feel to it, but it's soft and yeah. it's been rounded really beautifully. And that, that's really hard to do. That's uh, perfumers who know kind of what they're doing when you're dealing with rounding, smoothing, but making it smell masculine at the same time. Yeah, this particular brand I think excels at creating really nicely blended, very smooth fragrances. Vanilla and base, vanilla and uh -huh. wood base. So very, very nice. Right. I prefer, I, I personally always like uh, slight amounts of vanilla or tonkery sort of things, even at trace amounts because it can help make things smell cozy. So this has like a cozy, warm, wearable um, fragrance. So the must choice mixed with the vanilla molecules is key to this, to, to give it this. Yeah, again, I think it's a seven. I don't think there's anything wrong with it, but I wouldn't wear it. So it's slightly uh, 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 above my demographic, you know, 40s up, which I think, which I'm not. Okay, you think it skews a little older? A little again. bit older, yeah, more fresh, yeah. su super professional, super wearable. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think. 
Okay, yeah, um, that is uh, a beautiful fragrance that uh, I, I really enjoy wearing. Uh, let's move on to the next one. I, I bet this one's monstrous. It is fairly, yeah, robust and muscular, as you would yeah. say, yeah. Again, herbaceous, slightly minty. More minty in a uh, camphorous way. Okay, so yeah. This is a yeah. camphorous, uh, minty, herbaceous. Herbaceous seems to be very fashionable at the moment. All these mm. seem to be quite, uh, to consider, um, on trend. And this is definitely on trend, the way perfumery is moving, which is this sort of like uh, robust, strong, uh, masculine. This is very masculine. This is like an alpha man's smell, I think. Right, So yeah. this is a robust, strong, masculine, herbaceous, green, mm. spiky. Spiky is the word. Yeah. Yes, I, I definitely think this is a spiky fragrance. Uh, punchy as well, very, like, because that spikiness has got yeah, that same. Like, very in your face. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Okay, um, out of 10, what would you give that uh, one? The technical sort of uh, stuff, and that's really good to get that robust stuff. That on my skin would be robust. I think it's about the same. That seven. Yeah? yeah. Okay. So solid, solid sevens. I that is awesome. Yeah. I think that is a seven is certainly a recommendation, uh, particularly if they're styles that you wouldn't choose to wear but you can appreciate. I think composition. they're awesome. Yeah. I think I think they're awesome. They're really skilled, uh, really skilled perfumers doing their job. And this on all of them, Zavar, so you're getting longevity, you're getting projection, you're getting a really strong, solid wall of fragrance. That's really, really important. You can, yeah. Nowadays, I think there's so much perfumery that if it doesn't do those three things, you kind of, you, we don't recommend stuff, we don't review and recommend stuff anymore that doesn't do that. We just don't yeah. do it anymore yeah. because it's, you know, it's people's money is uh, what, they're, what you're playing with, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. So if you recommend something that's not particularly too good, people are wasting their money, that's what I was yeah. aware about. Yeah. But these are all robust, strong, modern perfumery. Absolutely, yeah. Uh, and let's move on to the next one. Oh, I like this one. See, I like the um, more oriental, sweet, that's the one I was smelling. Okay. So this one I do like, and it's got the sort of a um, beautiful citrus in there combined with aldehydes to give it that sort of like coconutty or uh, peach or gamma galactum sort of finish at the core and I really really like these so this one uh, I kind of I would wear more because it's more the style of what I would wear it is yeah Bubble more gummy. of an or oriental style yeah. you're right than, than iron than owns but iron owns but really, this is uh, this is what I really like it's sort of slightly bubble gummy which is the uh, iron owns mixed with the vanilla and, and the aldehydes in there does have a nice sort of fun sweetness to it it's doesn't it ice cream so, so this is vani uh, ethyl vanilla right right at the top vanilla in masculine strong projecting sweet yeah minster bells going off yeah I, I of all of these i would i would wear this one it, okay. these all smell i would not say you could get these like these aren't high street fragrances these are right. for people who i think are uh want something a little bit different a little bit unique but they smell enough uh designer to sort of be wearable but they're different enough they're accessible, yes. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, I, I like that one, give it an eight. An eight out of 10, right, yeah. the highest mark yet for that one. And let's move on, next one. Oh, I like this one. I find this to be very different and unique. It's the cinnamon alcohol. So cinnamon alcohol mm. is, and cinnamon cinnamates, they're my most favorite favorite compounds to smell. A lot of yeah. them I love, but I just really like cinnamon cinnamate and cinnamon alcohol. You think it's unique? I think it's pretty unique. I mean, I, it has similarity. Well, I guess it has certain aspects of it similar to other things, but overall, I think it's different to what I've seen. I think it's very wearable, clean, robust, benzoin in it as well. So this, I think, could be slightly boozy, or it could be slightly incense-y. You right. could flip it in each, each of those directions to it. So I find with this fragrance, and it's interesting because of the, the sort of cinnamon, the cinnamony note in there, whenever there's a strong cinnamon in a fragrance, it's creates this dessert-like quality. And I feel like I get that from this, I get this dessert-like It's a boozy dessert. It's yeah. like um, sort of whipped into um, brandy or whiskey, or it'd be something like that whipped into sort of uh, a, uh, like a cake or something. It's giving that sort of dessert gourmandy thing. Yeah, definitely got a little gourmand flourish to it. I imagine this is really nice on the dry down. I imagine this, yeah. uh, when it sort of dries down skin, it's very nice. This is probably the strongest of all of them yeah, here. This is what I was liking. Yeah. 
So you like this one? I like yeah? that one. That one to me is uh, it's a sort of a dry gum one. Interesting. I give that a nine. I a nine? nine? Yes, I like oh, that yeah. one. It, does, it really, when, when you smell that, there's something that it just sort of... Um, it's an addictive quality to it. Yeah, and, and it's got this sort of buzziness. It's just got this energy to it, I think, when you smell that one. It really just makes your eyes open wide and stand to attention, I think. Statement making, but not in a, 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 an obnoxious way. It's sweetened very nice. It has ethyl maltol, which is like whipping through the base to sweeten it and give a... Um, it's very nice. The yeah. aldehydes are done really well. It's not too mm -hmm. much of anything. Really yeah. well done. That yeah, one. great. So that's a nine mm -hmm. for that one. And uh, on to the final one of this video, and then we will reveal... Oh, I like are. this one too. This one's very nice. They're going actually in... In, uh, in order of your yeah, preference. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, was, that was completely uh, unplanned. It's ironones, beta and alpha ironone, which is with vanilla molecules, which are which you could, if it's not saying iris, it's giving an iris finish to it. Right. Okay. Yeah, this is, I'm sure this is, this is like um, either vanilla on top vanilla. Mm. It's got that sort of baby powder sort of finish it with some woods. Now, let me explain about that. Right. Because I've done a lot of research on this sort of, um, speaking to customers coming into the shop, asking lots. Men really, really love um, sort of baby powder finishes with juxtaposed against hardwoods. Mm. They they love that, and I there's I'm there's a whole theory I've got in my head about why. But that sort of quality of soft powderiness, it has to be combined with sort of harsh woods, the sandwood, the cedarwood, yeah. elmley, uh, pink pepper. All those things have to be in there to balance it perfectly. Otherwise, it's not mm. particularly very good. It kind of just smells like baby powder. When you've got the baby powder mixed with that it becomes instantly likeable and men really like it. That's my, what I've been studying this year. Like, Yeah, I agree. I think especially with irisy fragrances, uh, like for example, Dior Homme Intense, you've got that baby, baby powder, powder element to it, but it's got some intensity and, and rich, deep, intense woods in there as well. This is my favorite because this has got that, um, it smells light and airy, mm -hmm. soft baby powder with the vanilla molecules. Yeah. And then it's, it's combined with the citruses combined with the woods at the base. So this is my favorite. This smells, right. um, I would absolutely wear this one and I would yep. sort of wear it. Uh, this is, I think, a great signature scent. This one's, I really like. Out of 10? No, I'll give it a 10. I really like the one. So that one, I, that one I would, I kind of would, uh, the other ones I think are really lovely. Yeah. But that one, I kind of think it's, um, I don't know, I just love that soft powdery. Yeah. I, I do a lot with soft powdery notes, but that I love, and I think it's the way it's constructed against wood molecules, against some citruses. Somebody who knows how to make really good perfume yeah. really, really did that. It is a banger for mm. sure. It's sweet, it's wearable, it's likeable, yeah. it's it's unique. It's uh, There's a lot of good things about the fragrance. Are you ready for the reveal? Shall yeah. I tell you yes. what they all are? Some of these brands you might know, some of them no. you might not. If you love fragrance as much as I do, head over to my online store, luxparfum.co.uk. You'll find my favorite brands, plus brands you can't find anywhere else in the UK. Link is in the description. So the first one, while I'm revealing the bottle, do you want to re-smell yes. that, which you gave this one a seven? Ebnol in this one. So this one is from George Zaharoff, and it is tobacco. Okay. Uh, but it's not a, uh, a sweet, uh, sort of honeyed tobacco, really. It's more of a, more of a green, dry, dry tobacco green. leaf. Yeah, which is, you know, you said dryness was something that was an overall factor in this you fragrance. You smell the lactonic. Tobacco, of course, really interesting to work with. You can make them more lactonic, which uh, gives a different feel, or mm -hmm. dry them out, or make them really hard. And this is more the lactonic. And the, lo the lactonic uh, molecule they're using is, oh God, it's a great big long chemical. And it's got Kumar in there at the end. It's like octal lacto right. Kumar. And so that is really apparent in this. Okay. So it's like right. a lactonic, dry lactonic. Yeah. Yeah, very nice. Yeah, great. Um, older, uh, I would say absolutely older. Okay, yeah, and I, I agree. Say, yeah, I think it's an old, and there's nothing wrong with that at all because I think uh, our taste changes as we get older. Yeah, sure, I agree. I think a lot of drier fragrances do skew a little a little older. The, the sort of sweeter ones are a yeah. bit more juvenile and youthful, um, but that's definitely on the drier side, yeah. but um, beautiful. Uh, recently won uh, an award, oh, uh, actually, it? that fragrance. Yeah, so it's done it's done really well. And I've not had this not this long, and I've almost used half right. of, of that bottle. Yeah. That's how much I enjoy this one. All right, the next one. This is, you can you can smell that again while I tell you what the bottle is. From um, Affinescence, this is Cure mm. Curcuma. This is a leathery fragrance, although it isn't a super sort of harsh leather at all. It's like the cocoa in it, like the cocoa, which is yeah. the vanilla. And the, um, there's a molecule called Cure, something or other. It's got a great big long digits, 201 point something or other. And that's 
I have have it and I've not worked with it yet. I'm just going to show you, I remembered I've, I've got okay. a box of another one from this brand and I just want to show you the presentation because it is superb. The so, dry down's better. It, it dries yeah. down much, much better. It's very nice. So look at this. Uh, that's just the box that it comes in. But, and this yeah, is another box. of their fragrances. It's a lacquered box. Yeah, and uh, oh, wow. it, it has this polishing cloth around it when, when you open it up. And then that is the presentation. Oh, wow. This is an, another one of theirs, Santal Basmati, which is really nice. And that box has got a real weight to it. Let me just show that to the folks yeah, on the camera. Nice. Great presentation. Did this presentation yeah, feel the weight of it? Is that something that you, you're into? Or? So we had a look at uh, these sort of boxes and they're expensive. And yeah. it's something that I considered for something, uh, which I may do, which we considered this as well. And yeah. It's, uh, yeah, it's very nice. Yeah, all right. Um, so that is Affinescence, uh, another a great brand. I think this one is my favorite from the brand. This has a Dior, we mentioned Dior Homme Intense. This has a Dior Homme Intense sort of feel. Uh, when you wear it on skin, okay the iris comes out more, uh, you, get, okay. you get that powdery lipsticky iris. Uh, and like, and you mentioned the cocoa, which is a note in Diorum Intense. It's not the same as Diorum Intense, but it has those sort of irisy, cocoa woody qualities to it. Done well, it smells masculine, but not, yeah. not relying on diagermersonal. Yeah. All right, great. Mm -hmm. um, so, and by the way, if you, when these dry down, if you feel like you want to change any scores up or down, feel free to, to do that. That's absolutely fine. Uh, this one is from a brand called Yeah Yeah Parfums. I don't know if you've heard of these. No, not at all. Um, this is called Equus Number Eight. Nice little balls. Yeah, yeah cool, aren't they? Not, not my favourite because I don't like green. I, yeah, that is my thing. I don't like uh, very green herbaceous fragrances. But this, I think, is taking it. I think there's always a place for fragrances which will take it more over to one side because yeah. not everyone wants to smell the same. So I think this is if you like green. But this mm. thing reminds me of not the same people pick my brains yeah, and it's not, not the, the same. same. Not the same as that um, Virgin Island, is it, what's that one, the Creed one? The, Virgin Island water? No, not Virgin Island no, water. because that's very fresh. Um, Viking. Ah, right, okay. Yeah. yeah, it's aromatic in that way. It's very spicy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah you, and you said that's got that green, that sort of green, for us, dry uh, fresh green. One. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, which is absolutely not for me because I just wouldn't, I like um, Orientals and sort of ouds and all that yeah. stuff. So. All right. That, I think if you like that, that's a good alternative for it. You really enjoyed this one? Yeah, sweet. So have you heard of the brand Soradora? Yes. This is called Mandol, and this is a sort of sweet, um, maybe almondy, I, want to, I feel like there's an almondy quality yeah, to it. Heliotrope in it. Heliotrope, yeah, yeah. I love heliotrope. Heliotrope in um, uh, ethyl molto, uh, C18, C14, gamma galactone, that's, I mean, it's the, it's the key of it. Yeah, nice. Yeah. Very nice. Again, on skin. Deepens, wears even better, obviously. Nice and sweet. I, I mean, that's yeah. quite sweeties, isn't it? It's one of those fragrances that is so easy to, to please yourself when you're wearing it and others around you because who, like most people love a nice, well done sweet fragrance. And the presentation, I love the bottles on these. They're yeah. cool. Very nice. Yeah. You gave that one an eight, yeah, I nice. think. Yeah, great. Next one. Remind yourself of that. Yeah, these two are, I think, um, your favorite. Yeah. So this one is from Gallagher Fragrances. It's called Rosé Noir. Oh, very good. I like the bottle. It is, again, another good, nicely presented bottle. Quite, it's a new presentation for this brand yeah, as well. Nice. It was, they had a bit more of a stock bottle sort of presentation, but this one, they've upped the game. Yeah, I like this. American brand. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, very nice. I can tell you at this point, these are all fragrances that I sell. Oh, on. Okay. These are some of the favorite fragrances uh, that we sell on Lux Parfum on, on my website. And I just, I thought, you may not have smelled some of these, so no. I wanted to introduce them to I you. I like rose-based fragrances, so it's... Yeah. But I like the, um, the metallic harshness to it. That's yes, what I like. that's the, you know, I said that one was that had a metallic quality. That's, that's the one, so you've picked that one up. I get this like apple pie sort of dessert feel mixed in with the rose of this one. Yeah, and cinnamon, nice. lots of cinnamon makes, gives it that sort of yeah, apple pie nice. feel. That's yeah. very nice. Finished. Good. Yeah, nice. Yeah, good. So uh, I think you said a nine for that yeah, one, didn't you? Nice. Yeah, so we've gone eight, nine, and you gave Halcyon from Soma Parfums. Yeah, it's my favorite. A 10. I would agree. Let me tell you, I had one of the best compliments. I know people don't always like it when we talk about compliments, but secretly you do, because we all like a compliment. I put this on and walked into a pub about half an hour later, and the girl working behind the bar just looked at me and she sniffed around and she said, Whoa, 
someone is wearing something really nice. What? Who is it? I was slightly embarrassed because you go, yeah, you don't want to go, like that. yeah, that's me, that's my fragrance. So I said, well, I've just put it on, it's a new one and it's projecting it's, a lot. Sandalwood based fragrances and cedarwood are hard to get projection on and get a clean projection that doesn't smell weird. And it is a clean projection, very isn't it? Clean, yeah, woody, yeah, well described. Sweet, so very sweet, vanilla-y. Yeah, very nice. Yeah. Um, okay, so. 10, 9, 8, and 3, 7s. Yeah. But overall, you, you, you think? Yeah, uh, very nice. Yeah, Decent. Good selection of fragrances. Yes. Okay, good. Well, thank you for sharing your opinions. Of course, as these are available on Lux Parfum, I will leave the link to the website down below if you fancy checking any of these out. Some of these are exclusive to us. Okay. Um, so, Soradora, uh, exclusive in the UK. Uh, I can't, really... and Zaharoff exclusive to, to us in the UK. Okay. Something we're really trying to do on the website, get brands that are tougher for UK okay. customers to, to get hold of and primarily ship to, to the UK. Very good. Uh, I'm glad you like these. There's some surprises for me in there about which ones were your favorites. And yes. uh, uh, it, it's always interesting to get to get your take because I value it. Whatever you oh, know, I you. really value your opinion. So if you uh, really love a fragrance and you give it a high mark, that that sort of yes. makes me uh, really want to sort of go to that fragrance and uh, give it a good wearing. Very good. Thank you. Pleasure. Right. Do you want to steal the outro as well, or shall I do it? Uh, I can't remember what the outro is. Uh, well, let's just say if you haven't already subscribed to Aaron's. <laughs> amazing YouTube channel. If you want to see more Perfumer Rates fragrances, you subscribe to Aaron. I'm sure many of you have already. But if you like Aaron, head over there and uh, we'll, we'll, have him, we'll have him back. I'll have a word about him stealing intros, but, but oh, if okay. we can come to some sort of uh, resolution, <laughs> then you can come back again sometime. Definitely. Deal? Thank you, Chris. All right, great. Thanks, Aaron. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you liked it, give it a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. And if you do that, I will see you in the next one. Bye.